Okay, okay. I'm really excited to make this video, you guys. Very excited. Here we go. If the only way to ban abortion forever would be to bring back slavery, would you do it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause the video really quick. Or play the video and then pause it so we can look at Charlie. There we go. Yes. I would do it. Okay, well, let's go back to the girl. Let's talk to her. We're doing it. We save all the babies. Now, um, Charlie Kirk, he doesn't have any time to think about it. What do you guys think he's going to say? That's very interesting. Put in the comments right now uh, what you would what you would pick. But, um, yeah. So, it would be soft slavery. We already have slavery in every, uh, all over the world, including the U.S. Um, people with no skills, who don't know how money works, debt slaves to credit cards and stuff. We already have slavery. Um, if she's talking about, you know, a lot of slaves back in the day, um, the ones with good slave owners... Um, they had a really great life and they, uh, some of them had a nice comfy bed and stuff. Now the bad slave owners, they get whipped and stuff. That was pretty bad, you know, but some of the slaves, they love their slave master and stuff. Um, but it would hurt the world having, saying yes to this with the slavery. It would hurt the world in that sense, but we'd save so many babies, uh, be, just because abortion is so popular, uh, we'd be saving so many babies. Um, because people love abortion so much. Um, but slavery, it's just working for less than your worth type of idea. Plus in this hypothetical, you could regulate slavery and you could, um, force people to pay their slaves big, but like in the jails, for example, we have slavery. So you could really have the cake and eat it too by regul by having a righteous government regulation for slavery. But let's see what uh, Charlie says. Like slavery, would you do it? No. He says no. Okay. Which is a, which is maybe a righteous answer. Um, but he doesn't have very much time to think about it. I'd like to hear him steal man a yes case. As his brain goes to the yes, uh, he's going to start to realize that the answer is probably yes. But the reason why he says no here, if he says yes on video... Then you could say, wow, that could be a headline, that could be news. He's risking so much to win nothing. But by saying no, you don't, you know, you don't piss off all the pro-choice people. And also, like, you don't want to do something bad to, uh, for good results, right? Um, and, then, and that's kind of where his mind goes here. No. No. I, I, I wouldn't bring back slavery to try to limit. I wouldn't bring back slavery to try to limit murder. And he has a good point here. Uh, just because abortion is illegal doesn't mean people aren't going to kill their babies. Right? Having a stupid law in place to remove a stupid law uh, won't even might not even save as many babies as you think. Like... The reason why people get abortions is because they want to kill their baby. It's not because they, um, you know, if, if, if you make it illegal, a lot of people are still going to kill, to kill the baby. It just won't be maybe as free, fast, and accessible. But, or they might just go to a different country, a different, different state to do it. Murder. No. Okay. What, what, what kind of outrageous question is that? By what kind of outrageous question is that, by the way? I actually love the question. I do. It is outrageous, but I like it. It's very creative, and it's kind of like Sophie's Choice. It shows where your morals are, shows where your priorities are. This is, I think this is actually the second time I've disagreed with Charlie Kirk on something. But this would, I would say, the strongest I've ever disagreed with him. Actually, I've probably disagreed with him uh, uh, probably a dozen times with like very small stuff. 
but I only really watch his his shorts. I don't watch a lot of long form Charlie Kirk. So if it's a short, it's probably him hitting a home run. But yeah, I think he's just um, he's doing the wise thing here. He doesn't want to get he doesn't want the pro choice people to think that he you know, is in favor of slavery or something like that. This is one of those questions that's kind of a trap question, right? Jesus was asked a lot of these trap questions. Like, do you guys think that God can create a boulder so heavy that he himself cannot pick it up? That's one of those outrageous questions. But I like questions like that. And when God is laying in bed at night, <laughs> figuratively speaking, he asks himself, he he enjoys asking himself impossible questions, you know, difficult questions, paradoxes and stuff. And then he, he enjoys answering it, you know, because he's all wise, all knowing and all that stuff. Um, and that's how I believe God grows and gets smarter at an infinite rate. He gains intelligence and wisdom simply by talking to himself. And the Holy Spirit and the and Jesus and the God the Father, they all talk to each other. And they all, uh, iron sharpens iron. So does one God sharpen another. So does one person of the Trinity sharpen another. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen, Proverbs 13, verse 20. Proverbs... 17, 17, Proverbs 22, 6, Proverbs 22, 24, 1 Corinthians 10, 20, Ephesians 5, 11, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Make sure you guys get some good friends. Um, who you talk to is who you will become. Uh, Charlie Kirk is exposed to a lot of people, and he's a different person because of it. So protect your kids, protect your friends, and pray a lot. It's, I'm just curious. Just no, yes but, or no. I'm just curious. Just yes or no. If the Maybe she has some wicked intentions behind this. I mean, she knows there's cameras. Maybe we can get him to support slavery. But I kind of see this as um, how much do you... She, what, what she's really asking is if you want to take her at face value, um, maybe give her credit uh, benefit of the doubt. How much do you hate? Like a better version of this question, maybe, that Charlie Cook would answer. What's worse, abortion or slavery? Abortion today or slavery back then? Which one's worse? Which one's more hate-worthy? Sacrificing our children in the womb to Molech or beating up someone because they were born with, you know, a slightly <laughs> more awesome skin color than you? And you beat them up because you speak English and you have guns. And you brainwash the world to think that black people are less pretty or something. Which is an abomination. It's called racism. It's disgusting. And reverse racism is disgusting. And, you know, it's personal preference What who you think is more beautiful. Asians, Mexicans, blacks, you know. Or whites. It's personal preference. But um, there's one race, human. And what we did to the black people had a really bad deal in this country for a long time. But, you know, the Egyptians had slaves. The black people, a lot of they think it's all about them. No, we've had slaves before America. Okay, slavery did not start in America, you guys. But slavery's bad. It's real bad. Especially if you have a bad slave owner. But come on, abortion. Look at Mar Matthew eighteen six. I wish Charlie Kirk just said, listen... Let's let me change. Let me make a better version of your question because I'm smart and all that stuff. Which one's more hate worthy, slavery or abortion? In my opinion, abortion, because you're murdering children, especially. You know. Slavery, um, well, who? Slavery. I mean, <laughs> guys. At least with slavery, we're producing a lot of great things. We get a lot of cotton out of it. I'll tell you that. We get these houses, you know. We just basically tell people that are really strong to do to work a few extra hours than they should. That's what we're talking about here. And then, you know, we give them some unjust whipping. And they have a hard life, and then they die and go to heaven. The slave owner is the one that I'm that I pray for more than the slave, to be honest with you.
The slave owner is one who's going to die and go to hell. But come on, murdering innocent children in the womb, if you really have a worldview that it's a baby in there, it's more hate-worthy, abortion. The only way to limit human suffering is to ban abortion. Would you ban abortion? Oh, he hits, he hits her with a pure... With a pure question, go back a bit. I'm just curious, just no, yes or no. If the only way to limit human suffering is to ban abortion, would you ban abortion? If the only way to limit human suffering is to ban abortion. That's the only way to limit human suffering. And she's she looks up, she's a bloodthirsty witch. So now you really know where her intentions were on the first question. Depending on her answer, we don't know her answer yet. I have seen the video though, spoiler alert, it's not a good answer coming. It's going to be bad, you guys. So, say that again. Ask that again. If the only Ask that again. So, so she's going to give a really good response now because she gets to hear it twice. It's going to be a very genuine. She, she's going to think this one through. Let me think this again. Way to limit human suffering is to ban abortion. Would you ban abortion? She looks up. No. No. It was an honest answer. Okay. It was an honest answer. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, half glass full. Honesty, you guys. I could tell you thought deeply about this topic. If the only way. Yikes.